Okay, there we go. All right, guys, I might scoot up or try and use my mouse if somebody else hops on, but why don't we go ahead and get started? It's 8.02, so I want you to sit back on your mat, find a nice comfortable seat, and you can see that I've chosen to sit up on the edge of a blanket today just to give my hips just a little bit more lift above that the knee. So if you have a bolster, a block, a towel, all good props to use. But open and stack your knees to the best of your abilities. Some may be out in a diagonal, some may be closer to the hip sockets, okay? I want you then to take your hands on the outside of your knees this morning and press lightly in with the palms so you lift up the spine. Now take your chin and draw it back so the head is right over the heart, the heart's over the pelvis. And then relax the elbows. And if you want your palms up, that would be a signal you're out to receive all of the joy that's waiting for you today. Or maybe you're working on something and you need grounding, then take your palms down, okay? You choose. And if you're comfortable and you put a little trust in this time, I'd like you to softly close your lids and find your breath, your natural breath to begin. This is that breath that comes in the nose and is released out the nose. And as you find the gentleness in your breath, I'd like to see if you might be able to open the knees down and relax the inner socket. And begin to feel the breath right up your spine. Feel it gently coasting up. And as you let it leave your body, let it drift down that column relaxing the shoulders, creating some space in the bottom of the neck. And just ride that breath for a few cycles, relaxing, being aware. What does it feel like this morning? Acknowledging any sounds in the space in which you find yourself. Welcome in those sounds and then let them go. On another inhale, smell the air. Taste the inside of your mouth. and then let it all go. And this morning as we welcome in the opportunity to spend time together, that sense of community, I'd like us to do five cycles of a sinking breath. And what I mean by that is we're going to inhale softly a count of four and we're going to pause at the top ever so lightly before we exhale a count of eight. So I'll count the first cycle and then you'll follow with the following four on your own. So let's begin. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Repeat four more times.
When you're finished with those four cycles, return to your even flow breath. See if you can elongate the breath a little bit further, keeping in mind you keep the exhale that even count. And as you follow the flow of that breath, once again, friends, relax the inner thigh muscles, relax the joints and let the knees be heavy. On all your inhales, press down on those sit bones, lifting the spine up, keeping the shoulders flat on the back and then wear that weight on the exhale. Again, in the elbows, let the back of the hands feel so heavy on the inside of your thighs. Couple more breaths. Relaxing the teeth, the tongue, the skin under the jaw and then the jaw. Relax and smooth the skin on your on your forehead and around the eyes. And then I'd like you to take a moment and tap each finger to your thumb, lightly drawing the index finger in, the second finger, the ring finger, and the pinky finger. Then again, the pinky finger, the ring finger, the middle finger, and the index finger staying in touch with the thumb. Let the other three fingers just relax and open. Let's take a community inhale and lift up through that pelvic floor, the longest inhale possible. And then just sigh it out your mouth. One more time, inhale. And sigh it out. Placing the left hand with eyes remaining closed on the heart and the right hand over it. Gently take the elbows into the side body and tilt the chin down so you're looking, gazing behind your closed eyes in your lap. Welcome yourself in this morning for time on the mat. Pledge to yourself you've shown up for your body, for this is your practice. Go ahead and lightly bow and bending at the hips, lengthening the spine out of the lower back, and then gracing the hands right down off the tops of your knees. Let the head then hang off of the neck. Scoop a breath in there, gang, and take the belly all the way up into the soft lower back. And then on your exhale, lean out of your lower back. Hands are touching the earth. Reach forward, just let the back do its own back thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then tuck the chin, cat the back, and come on back up to seated. Let's go ahead and open our eyes, rolling the shoulders back. Feel the extension of those shoulder blades. Oh gosh, yes. Let the spine have a little bit of rhythm and then why not go the other direction? Yeah. And it's your body, it's your dance. Let it do what it wants to do, right? Listen to those movements. There might be some crinkling. Maybe you want one shoulder up and drop it and the other shoulder up and drop it or maybe both and drop it. It's okay to be a little sassy, it's your body. Let the hands come off your hips, roll the palms up, and let's inhale nice and tall. Go ahead and let the fingertips touch and then softly roll those arms back down. Yeah, one breath, one movement. Remember, this is all about that breath. Inhaling nice, feel the air on the palms of your hands. Let the spine get nice and tall and then exhale. Again, inhaling up, we lift. And as we lift, our body just gets so light. And then we juicy, 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 we go back down. Now on your next lift, I want you to open your knees a little wider and see if you can flatten them into the ground, really root it down. And then come back to that pelvic area and squeeze it on up, just like you're knotting it up from the inside and see if that back just does not want to soar to the sky just a little bit more. And then exhale back down. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. Inhale on up. 
Exhale back down. And then close the pose. Great. Let's go ahead and take the chin down to the chest. Take our hands on top of our thighs. Take a nice inhale through the back of the neck, relaxing the shoulders down. See how heavy your head can be to tilt forward. Take another breath, relaxing the eyes, softening the jaw, let it lengthen the back of the neck, and then find some just nice rolls of ear to shoulder. Doesn't matter which side you're going to begin on, you listen to your body. Each, is, each of us are different in what our body is asking us today. So just recognize you came to the mat, you showed up, Number one, that's huge. And then this is a time to just be inside yourself. Mm -hmm. The next time your head is over to your left shoulder, I want you to roll the chin forward so the ear goes really down towards the shoulder. Now relax the shoulders down, right? Because that's gonna make some space. Take a breath, soften the eyes, then tiptoe that left hand off of your leg. So it's gonna go straight out from the shoulder, come up on your fingertips. And then flatten the palm if you're able, otherwise stay up on your fingertips, your choice. Yep. Now rolling the palm up, I want you to bring the arm first straight out of the shoulder socket. Your palm is up and soft. Now folding the elbow, I want you to reach over your head so your fingertips touch the top of the ear. Now making sure that our hips are staying over our shoulders, really draw up through the core, belly's locked. Now soften all the weight around the palm of your hand and let it draw the side of that neck open. Breathe all the way up through the column of your body, right, heart's lifted. And then take your right hand and let the fingertips come over to the mat to lengthen just a little bit more. Let's take a nice community inhale. And as we exhale, just let that left elbow get super heavy. If there's any tension in your shoulder, please let it go. Yeah, nice and tall. Relax the inner thigh again. I'm guessing somebody's knees have started to clinch up. Now softly take your direction of your gaze down into that left armpit. Tiptoe the hand to the back of the skull and then draw the chin down to the chest, opening up that neck again. If you can tiptoe your right hand away or lay the hand down without compromising your spine, go ahead and do such. One more nice inhale, take the shoulder blade onto the back, tilt the head down a little bit further. Softly release that left hand down to the mat, hands back on the knees, and then bring the head back to center and roll from side to side again. This morning, we're gonna really work on soft, open gentleness. Next time, ear goes over to the right shoulder, right? First, find it. Feel the stretch around down the left side of your shoulder. And then take that right hand, walk it away and flatten. Mm -hmm. And as you're ready, take the palm up, find the tip of your ear. And really check in guys, we want to keep those shoulders right over, heart over pelvis, right? Heart over pelvis. So if you're leaning to do this, I want you to draw yourself back up and really lock it in in the belly. And just take those breaths through the side body, through the side neck. Awesome. Tiptoe that left arm away. Breathe through the side of the neck a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then softly roll the chin down into the armpit. Take the hand, cup the back of the skull. And let the weight of the shoulder and the elbow open the back of your neck. Mm -hmm. Long inhales, long exhales. We're not in a rush. 
releasing that hand to back down to the net, mat, chin down to the chest, hands on to our knees, bring the head up level on the horizon, arms out into goal post. Now draw the shoulder blades back first and then the elbows down. Take the chin to the sky, would you? A little bit of a back bend here, but really draw those elbows, extend those fingers really wide. Super expression here. Oh yes, oh yes. Inhale back up, and then exhale to your left. Left hand behind the back, nice rotation of the spine. Inhale back up, and exhale to the right. Oh yeah. And again, and exhale, keeping the spine nice and erect. Figure that it's like a flagpole, right? Inhaling as we lift, exhaling as we rotate. Oh, doesn't that feel fabulous? I've got to get out in the yard today, so this is going to be really good. Whatever you're doing, remember this when you go to do your daily chores. Yeah. One more time, we're going to go ahead and go to the right. Mm-hmm. So good. Inhale back up and close that pose. Now, if you've been sitting on a blanket like I have, go ahead and get rid of that. Make any adjustments that you might need, taking that flesh back so that you find those sit bones. I'd like you to put the soles of your feet together. And now those of you that have been with me for a long time, you know I love foot health. So I want you to take those thumbs and roll them through the arches of your feet. Oh gosh, golly, that feels so good. Yeah. Take the balls and see if you can open them, kind of like at your uh, opening a sandwich. See if you can open those up just a little bit. Give the bridge of your foot just a little bit of expansion. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we're going to take the thumbs to the inside of our arch. We're going to inhale and sit up nice and tall. Again, heart over pelvis, shoulders over hips. And as we inhale, see if we can draw ourselves up nice and tall. And as we exhale, we're going to lean out of that lower back. We're avoiding collapsing the back. We're leaning forward. Mm -hmm. Taking the chin so that we're looking right down the bridge of our nose. Now I want you to hang out here for three breaths. And on each one, I want you to scoop the belly in, make concave space. And as you exhale, I want you to lengthen out of that lower back just a little bit more. Mm, juicy. Inhale again. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Tuck the chin, cat the back. Come on back up to sitting over our hips. Taking the right leg out long. Dorsiflex those toes back to your face, right? Then let's glue the inner th sole of the left foot into the thigh. Lift up on a titch on your fingertips and rotate at the waist, not at the hips. You're giving yourself space to move the waist, okay? Belly button to spine. Inhale, up we come. And exhale, forward hinge. Thumbs are to the sky. Lead out of your arms with that middle finger, you guys. Now, come on. If you are hugging your ears, which I'm going to guess somebody may be, and you're not alone, I want you to make some space in those shoulders so your shoulders and your ears do not kiss and lean out just a little bit further. So we're working on pressing that left hip into the mat, and we're reaching, reaching, reaching. Maybe you find the top of your foot. Maybe you find the bottom of your foot. Maybe you find your shin. It doesn't matter. Wherever you are is just where you are supposed to be. On your next inhale, I want you to bring yourself all the way up tall. And then exhale, I want you to take right hand to right leg and soar open your left. Now, wherever you are, I want you to roll that left shoulder blade on the back so you lengthen that side body and take the middle finger all the way up, okay? So you're showing off this side of your heart center, your belly is plugged, and you are just extended as tall as you possibly can be. Yeah, take the gaze down your extended right arm, take the left hand to the top, 
Level the shoulders back out and take one breath here. Inhale. And as you exhale, lean out just a titch more. Tuck the chin and inhale back up center. Nice work. Super good for the side body. All right, we're gonna go to the opposite side. So again, on your fingertips, reach up, rotate at the waist, bring those toes back at you. Inhale on up and forward hinge. And this really is a hinge. If you think about your hip sockets, so we're not collapsing around in the shoulders. If you feel a lot of tension in the top of your shoulders, I want you to tuck that belly in and lengthen out. Yeah. Check in again with those shoulders and ears. Avoid a relationship between them. Keep some space. They need to be at opposite sides of the room. Breathe, 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 breathe. Notice if you can lean out further from one side to the other, giving your body that acknowledgement. Yeah. On your next inhale, we're going to lift on up to center. And on the exhale, we're going to open and hinge and lift. Yeah. Inhale, lift on up, plant that hip into the ground. On an exhale, take the gaze down the extended arm, take the top arm over top. One breath in and out. Breathe our way back up to center. Close that pose and let's find our way on the hands and knees. Oh my gosh, isn't this fun? So we're going to take those fingers, spread them super wide, right? We want those thumbs to look at one another. We want to make sure that we're right over our wrists. So double check that your wrist wrinkles are horizontal. And then let's go ahead and just pat down on the tops of our feet. I have really tight calves today, so I actually am getting a little cramped from that. Mm -hmm. You find where you can be. Now press down through the tops of your toes to anchor your feet in, and then see if you can open the tops of your ankles. Okay. Press down through those hands. I want you to press through the fingertips. Now, if you're like this, and if you're looking at me in the camera, I've intentionally kind of swayed. I want you to lift that belly up into the hollow of your lower back so you can grow space. Yeah. And then drop the belly, that nice taut belly into a cow. And then exhale it, tuck the chin, tuck the tail into that calf. Inhaling forward. And you know, this is a time where we just say thank you to the spine. It's amazing what it's able to do for us all day long. But in cat and cow, it gets to express its own. And this is an opportunity to be a little sassy if you want to. Maybe you want to wag your tail and maybe you want to look around. You can find different movements in cat and cow that Bring another expression. You choose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Couple more. Really drain it out on that cat. Lift every vertebrae. And then paint the mat with your belly. Nice. Go ahead and sink the hips back into a child's pose. Knees together or knees wide, your choice. But I'd like you to open and close your hands. And then take three breaths. Blow that belly on up. And as you exhale, let it all go. Put a little pressure right in the middle of your forehead, connecting the mind to the earth. One more breath. Terrific. Coming back up on all fours, let's extend and lengthen that right leg. Sorry, Maddie, I'm going to have to lift my hip a little bit higher. Look at, you want to look under your body and see if you can find your toes. Toes straight down, belly's lifted again, and then go ahead and set that leg back down. Go ahead and lift and lengthen your left leg. Yeah. Really lengthen through the heel. And as you lengthen through the heel, press down on the top of the opposite foot. Yeah, hips stay level. Let's go ahead and take that knee down. This time we're gonna take the right leg out. We're gonna draw it across the back of the body up onto the ball of your foot and soar open your right arm. 
work at stacking those shoulders. Think of that if you've got that piece of string and you're lifting up through that side body, really lift, 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 lift. Take the gaze down to your bottom hand and then soar the arm across, palm down. So your right hand is now over your head, reaching towards the wall in front of you as you keep that right hip crease back. Awesome stretch. On an exhale, take the hand back down under the shoulder, take the knee under the hip, drop into one cow, and exhale into one cat. Nice work. Come on back to your stable table, lift and lengthen the left leg. Before you go to move it, lengthen through the heel. Take that leg out of your hip, press down with the top of your right foot, and take that left leg behind you, and then soar the left arm. Take a check here, gang, on the top of your right foot. Let it anchor you in. Claw the fingertips of your right hand into the mat. Now lift up through your right hip and lift even further with your left arm. Feel that extension of your side body. You guys are super strong and super gifted. Open your body to this. Then take the gaze, rotate the neck right down to your rooted right hand. Take the left hand over the top of the head, straight. Reach, 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 reach. Yeah. Middle finger is leading the band. So good. On an exhale, hand goes under the shoulder, knee under the hip. One more cow. Spread those sit bones super, super wide. Arch back on up into the tightest cat. Nice. Coming back to neutral, let's lift ourselves up on our knees, right? Inhale and roll the shoulders down the back so we've lightly lifted this heart center. Now, taking the arms up overhead and then exhaling around to the right. See if you can wrap your hands around those hips. Take two breaths here and take the right shoulder back. Let it help the spine rotate. And then lift up to center. Exhale to the left. Hand on each hip if it will reach, and if not, don't worry about it. But now I want you to use this left shoulder, and I want you to literally roll it onto your back to extend this side twist a little bit more. Check in with the tops of your feet, friends, and then lift that pelvic hammer. Let's do that again one more time on each side. Inhale and release. And exhale around to your right, using the shoulders lengthening ability. Tuck that belly. Yeah. Inhale when you're ready. And exhale around to the left. It's amazing we keep those joints when we twist in a locked position. And I'm asking you to find movement in those joints to help the rest of your body open just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think this is a real valuable thing as we live longer. Mm -hmm. Inhale back up center and close that pose. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our hands right in front of our knees. We're gonna roll the toes under and we're gonna come up into a squat, okay? Take the knees as wide as you possibly can and find your balance. And if balance isn't a thing for you today, that's no worry, it's your practice. Hang out here. Now, as you're hanging out, soften those shoulders down and tighten up, right? Knot it up in that pelvic hammock. Take at the base and squeeze it all in under there. Anchor in your core. Open the shoulders, widen down, palms together. And on your next inhale, press through the balls of your feet and lift to rise. Keeping the heels lifted as long as possible. And then exhale, hands to heart center, and then hands down to your sides. Let's enjoy a mountain pose for just a moment, shall we? Soften the skin around your teeth, your tongue, your jaw. Relax the ears. And now that those are all relaxed, go ahead and wear a smile on your face. 
and bring that smile up into your eyes. And when the eyes come alive, feel everything around those sockets just relax. And feel the light on the top of your head. And as your head extends up off of your shoulders, feel the tip of your fingers draw the shoulders down. And take the awareness, my friend, all the way down to the base of your feet. Crinkle the toes and press them into the mat and then lift those toes up, spread them wide and feel the energy come up through the base of the feet, through the knees, into the hips, all the way up into your heart center. And feel that breath, just lift the heart and go ahead and reach behind you and intertwine your fingers. Roll the shoulder blades towards one another and lift the heart center up to the sky. Baby back bend here and take the face and feel the sunshine light up your face. Oh gosh. And then come back over the hips, release the hands, take the arms up overhead and close the pose, elbows together. Inhaling up overhead, let's squat and dive forward fold. Bend the knees as deep as you possibly choose, okay? So they can be super, super, super deep. And wherever you're at, then I want you to take the hips back to try and keep the knees behind the toes. Take a hand at each elbow if that's comfortable for you and take three nice inhales and exhales. Let everything go. Release the hands out front and lengthen the legs to a comfortable place. On your next inhale, take the hands just below the knees into a nice flat back. Exhale and release the hands down, soften the knees and rise to standing and close the pose. Let's do that again. Inhale on up, swan dive forward fold. Lift in a monkey, release into the fold, soften the knees and rise to standing. Close the pose. One more time, inhale. Exhale, forward hinge. Oh, here we come. Mm -hmm. Inhale to monkey. Release in the fold, soften the knees and rise to standing. And close the pose. Let's inhale those hands up and steeple the fingers. So they're going to be steeple. Mm -hmm. Inhale, tuck the hips, tilt the pelvis forward just a touch. Find your length. Inhale long. When you're ready to exhale, drape to the left. Bending right over that hip. Inhaling back to center. Feet are grounded. All four corners we're going to release to the right. Feel all four corners of those feet. Inhale back to standing. Core is what's lifting and lowering again. See if you're keeping your shoulders stacked to elongate that side body. Inhale back center. And exhale one more time to each side. Inhale back to standing. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Oh, yeah. Come on back to standing. Close the pose. Take a breath. Tilt the chin down just a little bit. Relax the inner elbows. 
be present, say thank you, feel the thumbs against your heart, feeling the beat, yeah. And on an inhale, let's swan dive up, release forward, lift in a monkey, and you know it. Let's walk on out into a plank. Okay, those thumbs are looking at one another. I want you to reach through the heels, get up on your toes. If we're low like this, I'm exaggerating for benefit of those that are working on the plank, I want you to Take that core up into the lower back, knit the ribs, lift, 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 lift. Find that space in your arms. Mm -hmm. And then take a giant inhale, really draw the belly in. Look right down your nose, and as you exhale, lift the hips up into a down dog. Go ahead and pedal this baby out, however you may choose. We're just gonna do a couple here. And then on an inhale, Lean back into that plank for a count of five, four, three, two, and one. On an exhale, lift the hips, bend the knees, take them almost to the mat, right? Press down through your fingertips and your palm pads and press down and forward with the arms to lengthen them. Take the nose and see if you can find your belly button. So you're going to roll the neck all the way under the body. And now straighten the legs and lift the hips. Let the head come back to neutral. Softly walk the hands up to greet the feet. Hang in a fold. Take a breath. All the way under the body. Oh, and let it all out. Soften the hips and come back on up to standing. Close pose. Let's go ahead and inhale on up. Swan dive forward fold. You're gonna plant the fin hands right outside of your feet. Step the left foot back. So you're in a high lunge, okay? Find that high lunge, feet, hands are still on the mat. Knee is right over the ankle. Inhale ourselves on up into a crescent. Good job. Now, if crescent is something you're working on, I want you to really draw your right hip crease forward, your left hip crease back, so they're right across from one another, but then tilt your pelvis forward just a touch to get a little bit more stretch on the front side there. Lengthen that right leg now through your heel, shoulders over hips. Arms are soft and open. Let's take them back into goal pose. So the elbows are coming right out from our shoulders. Then start to draw the shoulder blades together and allow yourself to have a little lift in the heart. Legs have got you. Uh -huh. On an inhale, take the hands up. Plant the right hand down under the shoulder and soar open your left arm. Breathe, 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 breathe. Yeah. Releasing that left hand down to the mat. Step back with your left foot into a nice plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Press down through the hands. Lift the hips up into down dog. Bend those knees one more time. Bring them almost to the mat. Lean out through the hips. Let those arms lengthen your spine. Lift the hips again. Oh, ho, ho. isn't that good? Yeah, you know where we're headed. Softly travel to the top of your mat. Hang in a fold. Let it all go. Soften the knees and come on back up to standing. And we'll close that pose. Inhale on up. Swan dive forward, pull. Take the fingertips to the mat. Left leg this time is going to come straight back out of the hip right down there, okay? Now lift ourselves back up, shoulders over hips. Tuck your pelvis just a little. Lengthen out through that left leg. Oh, feel it all get tight, nice and snug, right here in the belly, right? Check in with your right hip, draw it back just a touch. Maybe you can sit down a little bit lower for that right leg to be parallel. Arms are up, gaze is soft and joyous. 
and then elbows come out from the shoulders. And we start to lift that heart center once again, drawing the shoulder blades towards one another. And isn't that sun just great? Even though you may be looking up at a ceiling, it is blue sky up above, you know that. On an inhale, arms are gonna lift, left hand's going under the shoulder, and we're gonna rotate open the right arm. Keeping the belly in that lower back, create space. Bringing the shoulders onto the spine. Oh my gosh, yes. Placing the right hand down to the mat. We're gonna step that right foot back. Hanging out in plank. Five, four, three, two, one. And on an exhale, we're gonna lift on up into that down dog. Oh boy, go ahead and shake the head from left to right and up and down. Yeah. Taking the knees down to the mat. Releasing into a child's pose. Let the forehead come to the mat. Take the hands back to the bottoms of your feet. Give them again a little bit of love and attention. And then go ahead and let everything go soft and silent. Let the weight of the shoulders pull those shoulder blades off of your back. Nice, 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 nice. Then taking the hands by the knees, go ahead and lift yourself up into pencil. Okay, so we're here on our knees. The tops of our feet are rooted. Again, that pelvis is slightly tilted forward. Pelvic hammock is in place. Lifting those arms on up, I want you to take them out to the side, palms down, straight up, down, okay? Relax your shoulders so those shoulder blades float down the mat. Then roll the palms up, taking the right hand at an angle in front of you, and then taking the left elbow into the crook of that hand. So you can see my elbows are down towards the chest. I want you to lift those elbows up so they come right out of your shoulder. And maybe this is where you hang, okay? And that's fine. Taking the gaze up to the palm of your hand, I want you to visualize your pelvic area and lift up on that, slide that up again and feel how it lengthens the lower spine. And as you inhale, I want you to take as much breath up into the shoulder area as you can. And then as you exhale, I want you to draw the elbows in front of you, extending those shoulder blades around the top of the back. So we've put the spine in place, we've anchored the tops of our toes, and then really breathe. One more breath. Just let it out. Take those elbows away. Nice. Go ahead and release the arms down by the side. Get a little loosey-goosey, come on, be a little sassy. Take those arms around, yeah. And then we're gonna take the arms back out again from the shoulders. What we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So this time the left arm is gonna come right around across our body, palm up. Right elbow is going to go in the left crease. We're gonna see if the hands can find one another. And then I want you to walk through your body, press down on the bridge top of your foot, Lift up through the quads, lift up, slide up through the base of that pelvic hammock. Breathe into the shoulders and then exhale the elbows away from your body. Three breaths. Releasing those arms out wide. Taking the hands up overhead, intertwine the palms, and then take the palms to the sky and lean to the left. Taking those palms away from the body, again, stretching the arms and the shoulder, lifting with a strong core, and then leaning to the right. Coming back to center, we're gonna take our arms down, let them be soft, and I want you to just swing them from side to side. Nothing, 
nothing really intense about this. What I'm asking you to do is continue to keep the belly button glued to your spine and swinging the arms so the waist has a gentle rotation, just kind of like a washing machine. And maybe you start going a little faster. Keeping the hips stable. Yeah, nice. Go ahead and shake that out. Those of you that know me, the arms got to go out. What do we got to do? Give ourselves a wonderful Wednesday morning hug for showing up and let's find our way to our backs. So softly take our hips down, knees lightly folded and then extend those feet long. Sit up nice and tall here, okay? And if you're a leaner back, I want to see if you can just work it coming up just a little bit further. So the toes are waving back at us. Heels are lifted actually, just a touch if, they're, if you're over um, dorsiflexing. flexing, then lay the heels down and put a little pressure into those heels. Inhale the arms on up, get nice and tall and hinge forward. Again, thumbs to the sky and then let the arms just come down wherever they come. This is not like you're, you're not, don't have to be reaching for the back of your feet or anything like that. Wherever they come, they come. And I want you to take a breath in the underbelly, making concave space. And as you exhale, let the elbows soften, let the hands soften, let the head hang off of the base of your neck. And just let it be where it wants to be. Focusing on your breath the entire time. Now with eyes closed or softly open, with the heels anchored, I want you to start to lay the torso down onto the mat as slowly as you can. So the hands are gonna stay on top of your legs. Find a place so that you work at being in control the entire time so your belly is nice and firm. Relax the jaw, the neck. You know the floor is under there. Let yourself gently come down. And once you're there, then fold your knees and slide the soles so the knees lift into your body and give yourself a hug to roll side to side. Having the trust the floor has us. Hi, Maddie. Coming back to center, I'd like you to open your knees as wide as possible and then kick the soles up into a happy baby. Take the hands, peace fingers is always nice, the two first fingers through the middle toe, big toe, thumb on the big toe. Now before you go into rolling, let's take a moment and just become aware of where we're at. So I'd like you to soften your, your gaze and maybe even close your eyes and visualize those sit bones in your hip sockets and see if you can widen them on the mat. You might even do a little wiggle to get them wider. And then let's take a moment to relax in the shoulders so that they want to lay as flat as possible on the mat and open those hip sockets a little bit more. And then relax the hands, we're not gripping the feet. Feel the entirety of your back on the mat. And now softly roll side to side. Keeping that open awareness, even in the roll. And as you roll, see what sensations develop for you to release a little bit more tension. Yeah. And then coming back to center, I'd like you to take the soles of your feet together and see how softly you can lay the outer edges down on the floor. So again, we've got some control in our belly. Once there, relax those hip sockets again, using your hands, let's massage the flesh away from the inside of those hip sockets, press down on your pelvic bones, those hip pointer bones. And then find a place that you can be as comfortable as possible. 
relaxing the lower back and following your breath. Hands can be on your belly. They can be down by your side. They can be over your head. And let's walk through our body. Feel the feeling of the base of your feet next to one another. Visualize the crook of your knees across from one another. And feel your hips open and spread in this position. Be aware of the rise and fall of your belly with the breath and take that breath all the way up into the heart center. Let it fill, puff it all the way up and feel how the shoulders naturally flatten a little more before you relax in the exhale. Allow the skin and the muscle on the back of your arms to fall away from the bones into the earth. And release the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Part, the lips may part a little, and that's fine. And allowing the eyes to sink inward, I'd like you to visualize a candle. And feel the flame of that candle, the warmth of it. See the light of it and allow the back of your head to be completely supported by the earth beneath you. And as we finish, we want to lengthen the legs or stay in this position, that's your choice. And find yourself fully supported and relax. Taking a nice long inhale, let it enter your body through the base of your feet. And draw that on up. And feel all the sensations of your body having been moved in different directions and welcome in those feelings. Softly wiggling the toes or lightly stroking the tips of each of your fingers, you choose. And then as you are ready, I invite you to take the knees into your heart center and roll over to the right side. And if you want to rest your head on the inside of your right arm and your left hand comfortable on top of your left hip, that's cool. Take three nice long inhales and exhalations here. Saying thank you to yourself for being on the mat this morning. Thank you to the others that you've shared time and space with. And recognize again, my friends, as always, in this position, we are so much more alike than we are ever different. I ask of you to never let go of that awareness. When you are ready, 
and only when you are ready, use your strong arms to lift yourself back up into that comfortable seated position. Palms up and open with the backs of the hands resting on the inside of your knees. And once there, let's take that community inhale. And inside our mouth. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Let's take our hands together and draw those thumbs into our heart center, pressing lightly. Relaxing the shoulders and the elbows down. Friends, what a gift. Thank you so much for joining me as I start to travel a new path with my core view away. I look forward to seeing you again on the mat soon. But in this very moment, you all know I wish for you a day that is filled with laughter and love. May you rejoice and celebrate all that you are because you are a gift. So as you go about today, share your gifts. They're simple gifts. They're a twinkle in your eye. They're a smile on your face. They're a kind word to someone you don't know. You can do this. I love you tons. Until we see one another again, as always, may you live with ease, be happy, healthy, and whole. Namaste.